Welcome back to another episode of Imperium Galactic Survival. We are playing the mod Project Eden. Let's continue from where I left off. Remember, if you have enjoyed it, consider subscribing and leaving a like. It really helps the channel. So, for today's episode, I am here just on top of my capital vessel, looking at the stars. We are going to say goodbye of, at least for now, of this black desert planet. And we are going to explore a new one. So, um, I think I have everything parked. I managed to find some space for my newest small vessel. I'm going to show you. It's very tight. It's very tight. It, it kind of fits on this area, but I will uh, try my best to improve or to get um, uh, a new capital vessel. Okay, and I think we are ready to go. I have everything parked. Everything is ready and we should be going. Okay. I should always always turn your thrusters when you want to uh, leave a planet. Okay. My target is 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 the planet Loon. Can I lock target? Yes, I can. And let's see what we can find there. I'm a little bit low on um, water, hopefully. I think Loon is a barren planet. And I don't, I don't know if the barren planets have water, but uh, either way, we are going to scout it. Okay, so we are in space. Turn off the shield. And where is the waypoint? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I need to lock it again? Yep, I need to lock it again. Good enough. Loon, 3.3 AUs. Let's get going. Let's see what we can uncover on this new planet. Ooh, green planet, yeah. We are going in, we are playing a rainbow game. Uh, we have been in a pink one. And then we went to a red one, and I'm pretty sure this one is a green one. Okay, uh, but uh, okay, control panel. I wanted to turn on the shield. Okay, this lunar planet has a moon. We have a moon. Let's quickly check the stats. The the lunar the the orbit, uh, the orbit, the lunar orbit, asteroids, pentaxid, iron, copper, and promethium. Okay. And planet info, Loon, it's a barren, size 3, which is kind of small. Uh, we cannot breed. Neutral, difficulty level 4. We can get iron, silicon, neodymium, promethium, pentaxid, and satium. Meteori meteorites, I don't care. We won't, be st we won't be staying that long. And difficulty medium. And can I check the moon? Let me see sector info. Come on, system list. Loon moon, planet info. It's a lava moon, uh, very small. Iron, silicon, cobalt, magnesium, promethium, and pentaxid. Okay, good enough. I think we have, we have except for Erastrum and Zasconium, we have all the minerals that we want. So let's approach. I will try something different this time. I will try. I will leave my uh, my capital vessel in orbit, and uh, straight away from my capital vessel, I will use my scout to explore. I hope everything goes according to plan. Let's try to go into the bright area. don't see anything strange in orbit. The, the, the asteroids are kind of scattered around, so sometimes it's difficult to find the ones with the ore. And uh, those uh, darker patches on, on the planet, I do hope it's water. I do hope it's water. We are going to check that in a moment. So I'm going to leave my capital vessel here. 
Okay, it's it's it stopped. So, okay, nice, nice. Can do I do I need to turn on my jetpack? Okay, and let's go down. Yeah, it's it's kind of sideways, not that way. This way here, and I have here my lovely scout. We can open the door. Okay. What do I have on my inventory? I will bring just... Let's go to the fridge. One of these. And I, I, I have a little bit of oxygen if I need to. I won't be staying that long. So we should be fine in terms of fuel. 2.28. Almost 3 hours of, of power left. So we should be fine. And over here. How are you? Fuel 40%. Yeah, I have fuel on me. So, and uh, ammunition. Devices. That's not a lot. Can I go here? Ammo controller, we have a little bit of 15 millimeter bullets, so we are going to go to the side winter. And nice, we have here a fission cell. Ammo. Okay. Let's go. Let's use our scout and check the planet. I don't know if it's water that patches I have my doubts we need what I, I we need water for the fusion cells and of course for the oxygen okay we are okay hot spot we are over a hot spot oh this yeah this weather is going to kill me literally is going to kill me Spots we have here a Xyrax area. Uh, and, and deposits. Zero out of seven. Okay. Let's let's explore a little a little while. Prometheum small. Is it uh, unprotected? that easy to get Prometheum, I might start to enjoy being on this planet. Okay. I cannot forget that my wonderful scout, very maneuverable scout, does not have any shielding. Okay, I don't know even what... Is this water? Nope. No, it's a irradiated area. Oh, some drones, silicon. Okay, go away. Go away. Uh, in other news, uh, Jay Randall, one of my favorite designers of the, of the workshop, has just released a new starting capital vessel. I think it's called MCRN Pioneer. It's a tier two capital vessel, and of course, it has just been released, and I have to try it. Can I show you on the? Can I try to show you guys without getting shot? So if I go here. I think I have already subscribed that model, capital vessel, MCRN Pioneer Titan. It's this one here. So, uh, capital vessel, uh, unlock level size 10, very cheap on the uh, requirements. I think, let's go to factory. Look at this. Except for the neodymium, I have, oh, come on, library. Pioneer, strange, 
go to factory. Oh, now it's correct, okay. Uh, so we need a little bit more neodymium, carbon substract, cobalt, silicon, copper. Yeah, I have everything that I need. So I might start working on that model right away because it takes, it takes, it takes uh, two hours, two hours, 23, real time. If I could have it ready for the next episode, I need to play two hours and 23 minutes, which is not difficult. We are in a new planet uh, and going out and harvest these deposits. If it's nothing, if it's nothing exciting, I, I, I usually do that stuff between um, episodes. Let's get back to the daylight. Okay. Good enough. The only problem, which is kind of uh, a problem, it's water, my friends. I want water. I want water. Okay, more drones. Let's go over them. Medium drones. Iron large. Wow, nice. It's not that common to find large deposits in Project Eden. Uh, crush capital vessel. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't fly into the patrol vessel. It would be bad for your health. it let's try to understand what kind of um, size of deposits we have on this planet iron medium well the, the iron ones are that large one probably enough for whatever we want until we finish this, this uh, project in let's play map so uh, promethium small Medium, nice. Neodymium, very nice. Iron. Oh, we have here a Polaris area. Nice. A friendly place. I am yet. Let me know in the comments. Um, uh, I explored last episode. Um, the, um, I, I haven't watched the comments on that episode. Um, the, the refinery. Uh, again, I found some traders in the refinery, new traders, at least for me, but I am yet to find the traders that are supposed to sell the the Optronic Bridge and the, the Optronic Matrix. If you were so kind, if in your game you already found um, uh, a trader that does sell those items, let me know in which POI you have found them. Because um, I don't know. So nice, so nice. A, a hidden POI over there. So nice, in in the middle of the of the radiated area. Let's go on top. It's an armory. It kind of makes it a challenge to approach. Uh, what did I find? It's Asconium. Oh, Satium. For a moment. For a moment, my friends. Okay, and we are going into the night. Into the night we go. Well, the planet, it's not that big. Uh, we might go this area right here. Nice. We'll, we will watch several uh, sundowns and sunsets in just one episode. Of course, mixed with a big twilight zone. Is this water? Hot spot, no, it's a hot spot. You can get a nice tan over here. Park your ship, remove all armor, and you'll have an awesome, awesome tan to brag about in the in the in the trade sta trading stations. You might also uh, lose an arm or a finger or, or a foot with all of that radiation, but. It's side effects of having a nice tan. 
map, 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 map. We are no water, no water. Okay, I think I can scavenge a little bit of water in my capital vessel to stay on this planet for a while. But can I buy can I buy water? Oh yes, I see some drones over here guarding a neodymium deposit over there inside the Polaris uh, I am looking forward to this change I really don't like it I don't like uh, Xyrax drones inside of Polaris areas okay what we have here come on silicon right okay let's land let's land uh, Security, nice. What's this? A trading station. Perhaps on this one? And what's that over there? A farm, right? Yeah. Let's see if... We, can we get water out of these, out of these dudes? Okay, A trading station. Nice. So... Uh, and, of course, uh, the good part of exploring a small planet. Look at this. Just this... Uh, I don't know even if it was 10 minutes and half of the planet, at least the planet that it, that it's uh, on, uh, that it's daytime, it's uncovered. We have explored a little bit of each. Uh, let me double check. Medium, medium, large. It's just the only that it's small, it's the Prometheum one. Iron, iron, medium, medium, large, nice. Large, medium, ooh, large silicon, medium, do we have copper? No, copper, I think we need to go to the moon. Okay, so, um, trading session, do, do, isn't there an anger that I can safely park my capital, my small vessel? Sometimes the drones like to show up, and if we have somewhere, I don't need a big area, an anger. Can I? Oh, for a moment, I thought that we could. Okay, but I will try to park over here. Not the generators. Oh, over there. This is the, the entrance. Okay. So let's park over here. If I get attacked by drones, it's going to be very annoying because I don't have any uh, means to go back to my <laughs> to my capital vessel. Okay, so we have we have parked. Ooh, radiation! It's it's crazy. Okay, I'm I'm going to hope for the best. Okay. Reception, please register. I'm going to register with a shot in the face. He's not active. Okay. So, um, we have the money. And I think I have money in my account. So, let's see. Uh, what can... Where can we interact? So we have here uh, wet weapons and commodities. Hello, my friend. <sighs> commodities. Oh, here it is. Thank you, thank you. Small optronics and small uh, bridges and matrices. Nice. Nice. Buy 89, sell 43. Okay, we need 90,000 uh, credits to buy the, the bridge and a little bit over 100,000 um, credits to buy the small optronics matrix. Very, very nice. Okay. Okay. Okay, very nice, very nice, and that will give me, a, I, will, I will buy just a couple to it, um, that will give me a nice challenge, challenge or, uh, I'm going, uh, now I'm going to uh, make a small speech, uh, I think in, for me Imperium it's a game that it's awesome already, but it's going to be even more amazing, but uh, I think I, this is episode like 46, 47, I don't know, 
uh, and of course Raven has done an awesome job. Uh, Raven is the the mod author of uh, uh, Project Eden. He has done an, an awesome awesome job in increasing the longevity of uh, a normal uh, playthrough of Empyrean by adding a lot of these new planets, new moons, whatever. It's amazing. Just for exploration, you have like. 10 times more stuff to do than you had on a, a regular vanilla Imperium game. But uh, since I play on that, on this kind of house rules uh, of uh, no crafting to sell, um, I'm really glad that we found somewhere to buy our small optronic thingies because it will give me a, a good, uh, um, it will give me a, a, a good um, opportunity to hunt for Xyrax and shoot Xyrax in the face because if I want to sell weapons and I think it's the best choice to get money in Empyrean um, I will have to go out and hunt Xyrax I want their weapons to sell them at the trader to buy the small optronic thingies mm -hmm. because it would be easy enough to go to your constructor craft a lot of weapons sell them uh, bulk sell and then you would have enough money to buy the small optronics. I can sell weapons, but it's, it needs to be loot, lootable uh, or uh, weapons that I have looted. Okay, we have food. Very nice. Very nice indeed. What else? What else? Uh, okay. Medic station. Let's go to the medic station. I still think overall, overall the, the, the traders do sell stuff very cheap. Because if you if you have seen look at look, look at the the food uh, and the, the money that you, the, that it costs even the the emergency rations that the the first guy was selling they were about seven hundred uh, credits for an emergency ration and if you sell a, a weapon which gives you like four thousand or five thousand uh, credits just buy one weapon you will buy food for several days. And of course, going to this guy and buying medic stations again, buying these the best items, the best healing items in the game. This health pack, which we can buy, and these trauma kits, I will buy all of all of them, and detox, and the decontamination for the the value. They are really really worth it. Okay, uh, what else? What else? Um, are we done? This is a small, this is a very small uh, trading station. Poker night, so nice. <laughs> so nice. Okay, uh, can I check the fridge? Or you are going to be annoyed. Yes, you are going to be annoyed if I check the fridge. Okay. Okay. Uh, do you have an O2 station? before leaving teller machine closet no let me go into the medic area excuse me let me see if you have an oxygen machine oh an o2 dispenser yes you have thank you very much my friend Thank you very much, and uh, let's explore a little bit more. <laughs> I really don't believe that I will find any water on this planet. Map system, where do we have new connections from this loon? We can connect to Ustia. Ustia, Lava Nash, we have been in UC, right? I think, yeah, this is the high gravity, I don't remember. Zasconia, Pentaxid, gravity 4.28. Perhaps we were in the moon, on Ustia moon. Okay. I think that's pretty much it. In where we are, just two ways to get in, or two ways 
to go elsewhere, just back to the DOS or go to Ustia. Okay. Okay, let's go in. Oh, whoa, 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 get. Nice. Nice. Let's go west. Uh, yeah, we might go west. Let's enjoy it. Let's go. The further we can go west, just until we lose the sun. Okay, finally, I found a trader. I don't know. Again, uh, my question still stands. If you uh, let me know in your games which POIs have that trader, it's it's the general goods tra trader that sells the, the optronics. Perhaps it is. Okay. At least now I know one spot that does sell the the small optronic things. Might be more. I don't know if these uh, ridges, uh, these holes have water. What's that? No, no, just a lot of radiation. 35 radiation? Okay, and that it's small abandoned uh, What's, what's this POI here? Small abandoned reactor? Abandoned reactor? Yeah, abandoned reactor it is. Okay. Ooh, that's a new one for me. What are you? Unknown Alex. have several warnings to the south can I get them before surrendering to darkness okay nice let's mark on the map and non artifact nice Let's proceed a little bit more. Yeah, but I don't think that I'll find any remains of water. And of course, I did forget to check if the trading station did sell the water. Probably while edit editing the video, I will double check the inventory of the traders and, che and check if to see if there was water inside. There might be just the, the, the small bottles of water, but what I want is those big water um, containers that you get with your water generators. For water, I need a, a, ice, a nice planet or a planet with uh, water areas. Which I don't think that this one in the poles sometimes sometimes the the the, the world generation in Imperium it's really really improving a lot so you might have uh, specific biomes spawning in specific uh, latitude areas of the planets. like something in the center deserts, in the top snows. Which kind of makes sense if the if it's areas that are more cold to have a space, Zarak spaceport, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's, let's try to check the, the North Pole, see if we are lucky. Even in the mountains, that, that that would be nice to have small patches of snow forgotten. That we could get water. 
Yeah, but I don't I don't think that's water, right? Is this water? No, it's just desert. Yeah. Pole fog. Okay. I don't want the pole fog. Le leave me alone, pole fog. I am out. I am out. Go away, fog. Okay, Xyrox. Abandoned factory. We have here the... Wow, nice. The landing pad. This is the main area. Let's mark all of this. Patrol vessel, headquarters. Nice. Okay. And I think we are... We should... Uh, still a couple of POIs to check. An abandoned landing pad over there. Or ruined, ruined landing pad. Okay. Weapons bunker, more drones. Okay, what's that? Huh? Enemy deposit, a couple of derelict POIs. Nice. Still, I'm, I'm also still amazed with the difference that makes a small planet versus a, a, a huge planet. Uh, I still remember the first planet on this uh, second part of this uh, Project Eden gameplay, that v huge snow planet that I explored like for uh, almost an hour and it looked like I have just explored it for two minutes. Now, in just one episode, with very few uh, editing, I have explored it. I have explored most of the planet. Of course, a small area here uh, to explore, but even checking the deposits, many half we have already half the, of the deposits uncovered. Okay, very very nice. So let's head back Ooh, four minutes. I'm not. I'm uh, now. I'm checking the, the the fuel. Five minutes. More than in more more than than time to return back to my capital vessel, uh, have a nice meal, uh, and uh, think of my next steps. I do like this planet, and I should leave. I should start writing some notes on on each planet that I visit. But I do like this planet for several reasons. The the, the deposits are not that. Uh, uh, that heavy protected, so it's kind of easy to um, to get deposits, which is nice. Okay. So I would like to spend a little bit of time getting some of those deposits. The problem being that I need water, and I need water f to craft fusion cells, which is the mo which is the uh, the more efficient fuel that you can craft. Oh, nice! We have here some pentax seeds. Let me mark them. <laughs> how how I, I would love to have this marked automatically, and even these guys are not protected. Nice. And uh, I saw an asteroid close by that it looked like it was uh, one with some ore, but it's so hard to, to know. Okay, I can I, I can do that uh, between episodes. Explore a little bit, finding uh, mineable asteroids. Okay, let's get inside. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay, come on. Oh, jetpack. 
Okay. Good enough. Can I turn off the jetpack or kind of, kind of? I don't think that we have a gravity generator on this on this vessel. Okay. Good enough. Look at this view. What an amazing view. Very nice to have my capital vessel parked in space. Well, my friends, this is it for this episode. Uh, just this episode have added a lot on my to-do list of Project Eden. So uh, I'm looking forward for the next episodes. We have a new capital vessel that I want to get from the workshop. I want to go out or go down there and get some of those um, deposits. Also try to go and buy some optronic uh, matrixes and uh, bridges and go and shoot Xyrox in the face to get more weapons, to get more money. Looks awesome. Let me just see in terms of water. We have 24 containers and I think that's pretty much it. All my water it's resumed in 24 containers and that's really, really low. Just to craft the fusion cells because in terms of food we are oh we have a little bit more water here okay could be worse but it could be a lot better uh, i have to think about of a water solution uh, for the for the next couple of episodes uh, even if that means going to other planets and then returning back to this one my friends i hope you have enjoyed and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, thank you.